Hello, big brother. I remember when we did the pilot, that was very exciting because we had the feeling it was going to be quite a big show. And I was going, God, I could cycle to work. This was fantastic. It was just over the hill. I remember being pretty nervous, meeting people like Sean Bean that I'd watched for years and getting on a horse called Fat Bob that everybody went straight ahead and Fat Bob went towards the pear tree over there. When I got that helmet, going, what? It's not very subtle, is it? And when you're riding it, it's the most ridiculous thing because the jaw moves up and down. But it's classic. I've got one at home and I've terrified. I've appeared on a motorbike behind someone wearing that in the middle of nowhere and they nearly crashed in front of me. <laughs> right beside him. Rawr! Ah! <laughs> Leave him be! <laughs> I had an inkling of reading the first book, going, oh my god, this is amazing, this, this could really kick off. <laughs> After the first season, the fans' response around the world, everyone was going, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> Stop this madness in the name of your <laughs> How the Hound just stops right away shows you that he is actually loyal, that he will answer to the king. I mean, he, he maybe just snaps out of his rage as well there. What are you doing here? I'm going. Where? Some place that isn't burning. I can take you with me. He feels like Sansa, that she's not in the right place to survive, and he's offering help. I'll keep you safe. Do you want to go home? I'll be safe here. I remember, actually, when I was filming that scene afterwards, I remember I hadn't seen my face. And the Hound had been in battle with the fire, smoke, blood all around. And I remember suddenly seeing my face in the mirror and laughing, going, God, no wonder she didn't come with me, because they looked truly terrifying. I watched The Red Wedding, and I didn't really read into it in the script of what happened. I think I just did my bit and went la la la. And then when it came out, I remember I watched it in the morning. The Lannisters send their regards. Oh, I'm a big guy, big tough guy, but guess what? I burst into tears. That was an absolute shocker. Ah! I remember just watching going, no, 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 what? It was brilliant. It's over yet, is it? Aye. It's over. It's too late. And that started the marriage after that red wedding. I love the time with Maisie. Maisie's brilliant, so clever, so on it. When am I going to get a horse of my own? Little lady wants a pony. The little lady wants away from your stench. That whole road trip, learning about each other, that was just a joy. Don't kill him! Please! You're very kind. Someday it'll get you killed. <laughs> There's some teaching going on there. You know, there's a few skirmishes in the way, and suddenly you're ending up with a, this terrifying team, a Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo, going through the country, and God help anyone that uh, crosses their path. <laughs> Favourite day was... Morning. You want something? The fight between the Hound and... Brienne of fucking Tarth. We'd studied and trained for that a long time, and it all came to fruition. That was just fantastic. No! <laughs> ben beat the hound, OK? I admit it. <laughs> he fell off the cliff. 
and then he was discovered by Aria and left for fucking dead. Thanks. Three, two, one, action. Now. We've been on it for eight seasons. I'll remember this forever. For a big man, you're very gentle. <laughs> It's been the biggest job of my life. I don't think this will ever happen. You're on a show with hundreds of people. There's been no assholes, no people, divas. There's been no nothing, not even a suggestion, because they know what great thing they're in. You feel like you're part of this family. I'm just thinking of when I ended up with the Brotherhood quite a lot, and we were jamming every night and stuff, and we just had such great times. Sometimes too good a time, but it's been fantastic. What a gift. Now, I don't think I'll ever be on a show as great and big as this. Be bloody lucky. Feel very grateful for it. Ian would say to Jora, don't expect any favors from that girl. Be kind to yourself, that would be my main piece of advice. First day on set, there was a wedding going on. A wedding of Carl Drogo and Daenerys. Jorah arrives with this rather sweet present. Songs and histories from the Seven Kingdoms. Are you from my country? Sir Jorah Mormont of Bear Island. His first movement is a dishonest one, which we don't know at the time. I served your father for many years. God be good, I hope to always serve the rightful king. He senses a sweet truth about Daenerys. Looking back at the whole trajectory of season one, you realize how much travel there is in their roles together. He witnessed her marriage to Khal Drogo, the death of her brother, and seeing her cope with the death of her child. And then it all leads up to this funeral par with Khal Drogo having died. And I remember that sequence and when we shot it in Malta, and it was rather magical, and it was very windy. Very, very elemental. We actually had to wait, I think, three days. The, the, at the unit had to see the only time in the Holy Thrones where we were ground to a complete halt. Action! And it was Daenerys entering the ashes of the pyre. And then she gives birth to the dragon out of these ashes. In that moment, everything comes together and he sees this woman who's more than anything that he could have ever imagined. I think we understand by the end of season one that he is going to live for her. Blood of my blood. Funny thinking about it. Feels like forever ago, you know? A decade ago, when we were shooting those scenes. Psst. Jura. The Andal. The spider sends his greetings and his congratulations. A royal pardon. You can go home now. The big event of season four is Sejora getting banished because uh, it finally comes out that uh, he was being less than truthful when he first first met Danny. When I read the scene, I go, oh, ouch, 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 ouch. But I loved playing it, and uh, Amelia was great in it. You betrayed me from the first. <laughs> Forgive me. I never met. Please, girl, easy. Forget. You sold my secrets to the man who killed my father and stole my you, brother's throat. You want you, me to forgive for you. you? We can't even remember when he was the person who was betraying her uh, because he's been utterly loyal and utterly behind her uh, uh, ever since. Any other man I would have you executed, but you, I do not want you in my city dead or alive. Constantly in Thrones, every character has such massive story arcs. One of the reasons that I love Jorah is those massive journeys. You find them in very different predicaments all the time. We all go from one place to a completely different place, and nearly everyone. I return to your service, my queen. If you'll have me. It would be my honor. 
when you've got 80 hours of television, these stories can span such long periods, and I think they really resonate with audiences. Favorite day on set was definitely a day in Asuna when we were doing the gladiatorial sequence. My family was there and my little girl was there and they dressed her up like me, which was, was sweet, in my, a kind of imitation Jora outfit. And they, they took her to the makeup and put dirt and blood on her and gave her a sword. She watched her proper work. David said, come sit here, you can call it. She, she was like, action. <laughs> the whole massive sequence with hundreds of extras. People fighting and cut! And everyone would go to a halt. Really <laughs> made people laugh, made me laugh. I have a few swords over the course of Thrones, but I love my first, I had a peacock feathered hilt, my, my broad sword. Designed for piercing play and I lived with it for a good few seasons, and uh, I loved the weight of it and everything about it. Take me to Slaver's Bay, put a sword in my hand, I'll prove my worth. I'd say my favorite proper costume is my yellow golden shirt, which I just wore forever. It would be suggested I think we should have a yellow black shirt for this bit, and I, why? I like my yellow goldie. It looked so manky by the end. So I had to contract grayscale, really, to get rid of it. But I think I should still wear No, Ian, you've got grayscale, right? It was all over the friggin' shirt, so you can't wear that anymore. Oh, OK. I'm so sorry. Don't be. All I've ever wanted was to serve you. Amelia, she just took on a massive role and pulled it off. And the most beautiful thing about Amelia, she has no idea how good she is. She genuinely has no idea, and she still has no idea. She's always vulnerable. It's part of her, part of a great gift. She's a wonderful actress, but she's also a wonderful person. And she deserves all the good things that Thrones will bring her. She's a very good friend and love on and off the set with uh, Amelia, yeah. Why should anyone follow me? You're a Targaryen. You're the mother of dragons. Thrones is the holy grail, where it's something that is enormously, globally, massively popular, and people think it's cool. It's critically approved of. And you have to love those times, because if you're not loving them, then you may as well not turn up to work, because it doesn't get better than that. It's been transformative to all our acting lives or right across the cast. Thrones become a family. It's just indicative of the laugh that we have and the fun that we have doing it. I've loved the role, I've loved the people. It's been a joyride from beginning to end. I just a little to thank Dan and David for taking us on um, an amazing adventure. And uh, I've loved every second of it. It's been fantastic, thank you. Hey, it's Lisa. Stay with me for more on TV. Now, if you love your TV shows, here are five suggestions for series to binge watch. Parks and Recreation on Netflix, Buffy the Vampire Slayer on Hulu, Westworld on HBO, Orphan Black on Amazon Prime, The Wire on HBO and Amazon Prime. Now, what's your favourite series to binge watch? And also, if you like my shirt, you can get one for yourself in the link in the description.